South Africa is a nation with a rich history of success in the Open Championship, and Muirfield, the venue for this year's openers, played a big part in that. The legendary Gary Player won the first of his three Open titles on the east coast of Scotland in 1959. 43 years later, this year's defending champion Ernie Els got his first taste of Open glory, emerging from a four-way playoff to get his hands on the claret jug. Golf's oldest and most recognizable piece of silverware returned to South Africa for the 10th edition of IFQ Africa. The trophy made a number of key stops en route for the Royal Johannesburg and Kensington Golf Club, including a visit to Nelson Mandela Square, where a number of fans enjoyed the chance to have their moment with the claret jug. Louis the man, there he is, 272. Sandy Lyle, Greg Norman, Nick Faldo. I feel like I'm a champion already. <laughs> A field of 72 experienced players, including seven European Tour and 28 Sunshine Tour winners, came together to battle it out over 36 holes. At stake, three places at golf's oldest major championship. If you enter, if you're playing in the international final qualifying, you're only two rounds away from teeing it up in your field uh, in July. Uh, so also for South Africa, it's, you know, it's important because you know, Ernie Els is the defending champion from the Claret Jug and also defending champion at Muirfield, which is, you know, doesn't happen very often. It's happy hunting ground Muirfield for South Africa, obviously Ernie winning there, Gary Player back in the day. So hopefully one of them can go and do something good first. After day one, it was one of last year's qualifiers, Andrew Georgiou, who held a slim advantage at the top of the leaderboard. The 26-year-old led by one shot from three players tied on six under, including fellow South African Justin Harding. Three guys make it through, and uh, yeah, I just want to keep playing golf like I did yesterday, and uh, guys are going to go low, got to keep going forward. So looking forward to a fun round. Only won it last year, which is also a plus for us South African Oaks. We all sat around watching it and uh, dreaming of one day being there. Um, some of us have had the opportunity to go before. Andrew Giorgio is leading at the moment. He played last year. Um, he only had good things to say about the event and yeah, to get the opportunity to play and uh, have a chance to play in it is, uh, is a bonus. In typical IFQ fashion, the second and final day would provide plenty of drama. Andrew Georgiou's good work on day one would soon be dismantled as his form on the green saw him drop shots on the third and ninth holes. He parred the back nine to sign for a two over 74 to finish on five under, which saw him miss out on a second open appearance. In contrast, Spain's Eduardo de la Riva was having no such problems on the greens. This putt on the fifth was one of a glut of birdies on the front nine that saw him race to 10 under by the turn. Also going well was South African Darren Lloyd, who began day two in that tie for second place on six under. This fine approach to the third set up a birdie, which would keep him in close contention. Justin Harding impressed during the first round, and he was in similarly good form as he kept himself in the hunt for a place at Muirfield. This birdie on five helping him to nine under by the turn. Jake Ruse was another South African going well. A fine approach to the par three twelfth would maintain his challenge. A birdie there would help him to finish on eight under. Roos was joined on that total by Garth Mulroy, winner of the 2011 Alfred Dunhill Championship, who moved up the leaderboard with this birdie on 16 and another on 18. Meanwhile, Spain's Eduardo de la Riva, who finished in the top three in two European Tour events last year, set the clubhouse target at 11 under par as he followed up an opening round of 67 with a closing 66. That proved to be enough to secure the 30-year-old's very first appearance at the Open Championship. For me, it's incredible to qualify for the Open because it's, it's a dream and, and it will be a great experience for me. With the final day building up to an exciting finish, two spots were still up for grabs. 27-year-old Justin Harding would claim one of them, this putt at the last setting the seal on a superb 64 to see him top the leaderboard on 14 under par. I haven't really played a Lynx golf course before, so that is, uh, should be a new experience. But I think I will actually gradually over the next couple of months start to uh, get a bit of a tingle in the fingers and uh, actually I can't wait already, so yeah. Be good. With Mulroy and Roos in the clubhouse on eight under, Darren Lloyd needed to birdie the par five final hole to pick the pair, and he did just that to finish at nine under par and secure the final qualifying berth. 
also congratulations to Justin Harding, Eduardo de la Riva, and Darren Lloyd, our trio of IFQ Africa qualifiers, and good luck to them at Muirfield this July. Thank you so much.